All right, following breaking news for you this morning, Judge Juan Mershon delaying his plans on his decision on whether President-elect Donald Trump's New York criminal case can withstand the Supreme Court's presidential immunity ruling. It was set to be decided today. It appears it's pushed off until November 19th. With us now, Newsmax senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, how does this play with Trump's attorneys? What goes on between now and November 19th? Well, I don't know what's going to go on. Oh, good morning, guys. It was a pleasure to be with you. I don't know what's going to go on between now and November 19th. The Supreme Court's immunity decision came down in early July. So Justice Mershon has had before him for a substantial period of time both the defendant's argument that the president-elect is immune and the government's argument that what he did was not his official uh, business, official uh, duties as president, and therefore not immune, and he could very well have ruled on it today. I suspect that because of the election, because Donald Trump in, in 65 days will be the president of the United States, it is unseemly uh, to bring him into a courtroom as a criminal defendant. So even though Justice Marchand delayed this by just a week or so, in my view, this is an indefinite delay. There will be no sentencing until after 2029 when he leaves office. Now, here's the interesting thing. Under New York state law, and this is the, this is the law in most states, a conviction is not a conviction until sentencing. So if Donald Trump wants to say, and if the public wants to understand that he is not a convicted felon, that is legally the case. Yeah, that's a, that's How's a great that? no. That's a great point. Uh, moving forward again, uh, up until inauguration day. Curious on the on the legal side of this, is this for the judge to push off pushing off this decision? He's as you mentioned, rightfully so. The Supreme Court already handed down their decision, so that's not new for him to process uh, or or to go over. Um, is this for him to pass on to both sides, the prosecution, the, the defense, uh, to, to maybe have them hash it out? Is there some agreement there? Well, the only thing that's new is that Trump won the election, and, and he may want to elicit from defense counsel uh, and from uh, the government their views of how this should be addressed, given that he is now the president-elect. I don't know that he needs their views. It's quite obvious that in two months he'll be the president of the United States. And it's obvious that it would be unseemly, inappropriate, and highly disruptive of the ordinary transfer of power from Joe Biden to Donald Trump for Trump to be concerned uh, with this criminal case. So uh, I don't know, Justice uh, Mershon, but my prediction is this is an indefinite delay, at least for four plus years. Wow. Uh, you pair that then with what's going on with Jack Smith. I mean, Judge, are, are all these cases just falling apart for Donald Trump? Well, the Jack Smith uh, cases are a little different because those Donald Trump can personally control once he becomes the president by directing his attorney general to appear in uh, uh, Judge Chutkin's court and ask that it be dismissed. The other case is a little bit more complicated because uh, Judge Cannon does it. That's the Mar-a-Lago case. Judge Cannon doesn't have it anymore. It's now in the 11th Circuit, and they don't have the authority to dismiss it. So the, the attorney general would ask the 11th Circuit to send the case back to Judge Cannon and then ask Judge Cannon to dismiss it. I think that Jack Smith, whatever you think of him as a pro, uh, he's a pro, and he knows how to avoid this embarrassment and probably will ask to dismiss or delay for four and a half years, which sounds ridiculous, uh, these cases uh, on his own. All right. Uh, that is Judge Andrew Napolitano helping to make sense of it all. We do appreciate that, Judge. And always good to see you, sure. even when it's not Friday, sir. Uh, see you soon, guys. Thank right. you. Information. Truth. Is freedom. Is Newsmax. It's real news for real people.